Hi, Caleb with Brownhouse here. And in today's product spotlight, we're gonna be taking a look at an AR-15 receiver extension. But not just any AR-15 receiver extension. Uh, this is the Forward Control Designs REF, or Receiver Extension Forward Controls. So, the thing about this here, and I know there's a lot of difference. We, we've done so many videos in the past talking about, you know, mil-spec, commercial, what's the difference between those. And I would say that this one would classify as like a mil-spec enhanced because it is actually better than a mil-spec receiver extension. So you might be like sitting there watching this, like what's a receiver extension? I'm talking about buffer tubes, guys. The technical name for the buffer tube is a receiver extension. And this is the part on the back of your AR-15 that your stock uh, connects to, slides on, and then your buffer and spring go in here. So if you were confused about any of that, that's what this is. All right, so let's get down to it. I know I said that this is a mil-spec enhanced, uh, so what makes this better than a mil-spec receiver extension. Uh, so, mil-spec receiver extensions are forged and then finished machined and the threads are rolled on, which is a great way to do it. That's how you make a really strong buffer tube or receiver extension. Now, with that design of tube, um, like I said, that's great. That's a great way to do it. We all know that you know forging and then finished machining is a way to make a really strong product. Uh, but what they did here, or how this one's made, it is a impact extruded 7075 aluminum. So that actually makes an even stronger grain structure on this receiver extension uh, than a standard forging. So again, an even better way to do it. Uh, and you may be asking, why weren't they doing that, you know, traditionally or originally? And that's just because the technology to actually do this kind of stuff has gotten so much better and so much easier to do. Uh, it's still not super easy to do. But uh, it's because of that that now we're actually able to make better, stronger parts for the AR-15. So you may be thinking in your mind, like, there's nothing wrong with the traditional design. You know, this is this is pointless. You know, whatever you may be thinking, you're wrong. Uh, so if you can add just a little bit of strength to make something not break where a traditional design would, then why wouldn't you do that? I mean, that's kind of like a, for me, that's a no-brainer. This will this will literally make your firearm stronger. So there it is. And as I mentioned, it is 7075 aluminum, which is the way to go. All mil-spec aluminum is gonna be 7075. Um, 6160 is gonna be your commercial stuff. And there, there's a, we got another video on it. I'm not gonna get into the details of that. But cool things about this, it's not anodized. It is black Cerakoted. And you can get it Cerakoted in other colors as well. But this one is black Cerakoted, uh, which is, as you guys already know, a really strong, durable, um, abrasion resistant way to do it. So there it is. And of course you have your forward controls logo right there on the bottom. And the, the, the like thing for people to say uh, is, duck gang because it i mean it's a looks like a duck right and forward controls uh has fully embraced the duck gang by putting a duck right, like a, a a cartoonish rubber duck on the back of it which i think is 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 super funny and it's it's cool that they did that uh, but moving on to some more serious features here you have numbers on the side that tell you what position the receiver or your stock is in which this is a six position, by the way, uh, as you can see by the holes cut on the bottom. And there's an extra drain hole cut in the bottom as well. Uh, and the drain holes, you'll notice one in the back here too. Those exist for draining out any water or you know whatever fluid you drop this thing in. Uh, it's made so that they drain out quicker so your firearm will still work after being dropped in the water and things like that, or submerged, I should say, not just dry. Uh, it, if your gun can't be dropped in the water, you got bigger problems, but all right. So I have this B5 stock here. I will use to demonstrate said numerical features. So that's our position number six right there. Then we go down to five, boom. 
And these are on both sides, so you just have a quick visual reference whenever you pick up your gun, like oh, my stock is in the position I like it to be in. Or you pick it up and you're like, it's in the wrong position. And then you're like, who's been touching my, my rifle? Who the duck has been touching my rifle? I say duck because it's a duck. You guys get it. Anyways, um, so yeah, that is the REF, our receiver extension forward controls. So I know I've been on a kind of a, a bit of a forward control design kick lately. And uh, that's not because they, they told me to be, it's because I've legitimately really been enjoying the quality of their parts. So I've been using them a lot lately myself. So I'm just passing along this information to you guys. So if you have any questions or comments, or if you're part of the Duck Gang, shout out down below. Thanks for joining us and we'll see you next time.